What did you like about your group's ability to come out, set the tone, withstand their runs, and, and come away with the victory tonight? I liked our defensive energy, um, being able to pick up full court, uh, and then our, the way in which we shared the basketball. I think that was, that was fun to watch, uh, the way in which we were moving it, sharing it, guys stepping into their shots with confidence. I think that's the way in which we need to continue to play. Kyle didn't miss a shot besides one free throw tonight from the floor. He was perfect. What did you like about his patience finding and looking for his shot tonight? I thought he did a great job of recognizing and reading the way the defense was loading up on him. Uh, he had some great passes cross court, uh, recognizing where the double teams were coming from. But he, he had a level of patience and poise, uh, being able to read the game. And his, the, his teammates continue to trust him, and he continues to make the right play. We saw in Brooklyn make a little bit of a run there at the end mm -hmm. of the at the end of the second quarter, kind of getting to the foul line like like yeah. they like they did Sunday, like Indiana did Sunday. What does it say about this team to, to respond at halftime and, and come out and kind of put the foot down in the third quarter and, and you know obviously not maybe not run away with it but keep them at arm's length? Well, that's why you, you say there's lessons that you learn in those losses. Right, so you look back at that Indiana game and you say, okay, what happened in that moment? And don't get distracted. Um, don't let the officiating bother you. Just stay focused on what we're capable of doing. Defend better without fouling. Take care of the basketball. Take shots when you're open. Uh, then that's what these guys did, you know, because you can always reference back to that so they know exactly what that feels like. Coach, it might not always show up in the stat sheet for a guy like Gary Harris, but mm -hmm. you can tell his impact out there with a three-point shooting and obviously his defense on the perimeter. Just how much of an impact has he been making as of lately? Gary is just steady. Right? Every time he steps in the ball game, you just know what you know what you're going to get. Uh, his ability to pick up full court, change the way they defend, fights over screens, uh, extremely physical, does it the right way, and then he spaces the floor and guys trust him uh, when they pass it to him to you know step in and make his shot. Uh, Coach J uh, Jalen obviously is a big difference maker, but tonight it, it was really noticeable at the beginning of the game. Do, do you agree that that's where he had his biggest impact? He sets the tone defensively, but also he got he came out and was willing to you know step into a shot with confidence. Uh, if you notice, there's a couple times he gets the ball in transition, flattened the defense out like we talked about with his pace, got it back to guys. The ball moved and we were able to step into shots. But his defensive energy, his defensive focus, his toughness, his energy, you know, our guys feed off of that. A lot this season about getting his legs back under him from mm -hmm. a defensive standpoint. But how have you seen him grow more comfortable with his shot as of late? Well, he's putting the work in. And I think that's been great. And his ability to continue to know what he's able to do defensively, uh, guard multiple positions, protect at the rim, finish possessions with the rebound. But then, you know, their guys are finding him in those corners. And he's, put, he's continued to put that work in to be able to allow his shot to, to fall. Thank you, Coach Mosley. Thank you, guys. Yeah, I just, what did you like about your group's ability to come out, set the tone, withstand their runs, and, and come away with the victory tonight? Yeah, just. I think just following through on, on the message the entire um, day from Coach early on, just our effort and our uh, sense of urgency. You know, we started with that in the Indiana game, but it definitely, you know, fell off. And going into the third in that game, we really didn't come out ready to play. And so, uh, you know, we made it a, an urgent, you know, kind of mindset to have joy in this game, to play hard, to play physical, and uh, um, allow ourselves to get out early, and we did that. You and I talked in New York about your comfort level on the offensive side of the floor. How did you feel like you performed tonight, shooting wise, and finding what you were looking for? I just, I definitely feel more comfortable, and I just, you know, just out there playing basketball, kind of just um, allowing myself to be free and be myself out there. And um, when the, when the shot is there, I take it, and if there's the room to make a move, I do it, or, um, and just allow, you know, try to my best to affect the game. Jonathan, you got you got some minutes as the backup center in in this game. How, how comfortable do you feel playing that position, and, and and what impact do you feel like you can make when you're kind of, when you're kind of that back back line of the defense? You know, honestly, not not too comfortable. I'm I'm learning that. You know, we I haven't had many reps, um, especially when it comes to like play calls and stuff, playing the five. And so, um, you know, coach told me, I think last night that I was going to get some run at the five. So I'm just trying to you know go through my head and try to figure out how to you know, where I need to be and stuff. So it's definitely a learning curve, but I'm going to get it. And, uh, um, you know, playing playing behind this guy at the five, you know, allow <laughs> him to do his thing and come in and, and try to keep that same level of, of intensity. Wendell, you were pretty active tonight. How do you yeah. feel like you performed? Um, I feel like I just uh, affected the game in ways that, you know, brings great energy for our team, on um, blocking shots, rebounding in traffic, setting great screens. So um, that's kind of how, how my approach has been. Um, for this game and then going forward, you know, just controlling what I can control and um, 
just doing the dirty work. You know, something that, you know, you know, early on coming to the league, I was that was my bread and butter, so just sticking to that. Wendell, um, Jay, Jonathan, men Jonathan mentioned this that you guys kind of came in the locker room wanting to make kind of make a statement or, or come out more focused after what happens happened Sunday night. What do you what did you see happening out on the court in the third quarter, and, and how much does that how much does that determination how much does that just mindset and determination to come out and put your foot down foot down to start start the half mean? Um, I think we just did a really good job of. Um, controlling what we can control. I think in those other games, we were getting caught up in the refs, which we did a little bit tonight, but I feel like we, we bounced back um, a lot quicker than those other games. And um, we was a lot more physical than they were tonight. Um, you know, that was kind of what we was talking about after those last two games. Kind of gave us a playoff of feel, um, which is super physical and not a lot of fouls being called. So um, our post coming to this game was, we're going to beat a more physical team and um, control what we can control and not not worry about stuff that we can't control. Uh, how, how much does the the group feed off Jalen's energy? You know his his return tonight. You know another defensive minded guy. How, how much does his energy level help when he's out there? It's huge. You know he's he's willing to do what a lot of guards in the league aren't willing to do, um, and that is pick up full court. That's that's be a pest. There's there's so many points in a game where you can take the easy way out and still be OK. Like, you know, going under screens, fighting over, you know, playing hard defense when the ball is taken outside of the bounds. There's so many places where you can just, you know, you'll still be fine. You'll still be a good player, but you can take kind of take a back seat. And he doesn't do that. And it, it, it definitely takes our team to a new level. We feed off of that physicality, that energy. Um, and not just him being back. Like, when, when we have our full unit back, like, it, 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 there's definitely an energy, you know, throughout the locker room. When, when, we, when we go in the locker room and we see everybody's jerseys there, it's kind of like, yeah, okay, like, we're, we're all here. We're all ready to go. And it definitely has a, has a better vibe in the entire locker room when guys aren't out. And so, um, you know, kudos to Jalen Pace's ability. To, he's been shooting the ball great and uh, um, feeding off of the energy has been huge. But getting Kale back and, you know, me back after, you know, not playing in back-to-back -back and whatnot, it, it feels really good. Wendell, um, when, when the guys are passing the ball like they did tonight, I think it was what 29 assists on 40 field goals. You know, Paolo has more assists than field goal than field goal attempts in the game. Like, what is, what does that mean for this team to to have the ball moving and, and popping like that, and having having it being led by a guy, by someone like Paolo? Um, I mean, I give a lot of credit to Paolo. He's he's a very mature for his age. Um, um, his, his approach to the game is a lot different than the guys his age. Um, he understood. You know, a lot of a lot of teams, especially these last two, of you know, they were being very physical and trapping and grabbing and holding. And I think coming into this game, he just set the table for everyone else, which made it easier for him down the stretch. Um, you no, know, he's just a phenomenal scorer, for, you know, phenomenal player all around. So, um, no, this is no surprise to me. You know, I've seen him um, be able to set the table up for everyone else before, and uh, you know, that was kind of how he approached the game tonight. And we just made our shots. You know, a lot, of, a lot of credit to him for finding open men. And, um, you know, that was the trend for tonight. You know, just share the ball and take your shots when they open. Thanks, guys.